Oh, good God. Tonight, <laughs> this fun-loving family. You did really good for the doggy style. We prefer to call it Nietzsche. Has a terrifying delivery. She's right there. Come on, put <laughs> that becomes every mom's worst nightmare. Let me nick you now, Marie and Emily. Should she be crying? <laughs> These two embraced modern medicine. So did you guys get to pick the donor? What you based it on? Someone we would date. Minus the male right. genitalia. <laughs> Got pregnant with twins. Oh, I guess we have to tell you. And you won't believe who the daddy is. So this could be two different fathers. Yeah. Plus, no texting anyone, dude. <laughs> it's a dream come true to be having their first baby. I'm excited to tell her, but I know. It's just the right thing to do. Just, no, it's not. But mom's been raising a kid since the day she got married. Pop that zit on the side of my nose. <sighs> Welcome to One Born Every Minute. You still got the contraction. Let's use it. <laughs> Eight, nine, okay. Close your eyes and focus away till that contraction comes oh, again. Big push, really bear down. There you go. Oh, bring it right under the Keep going, baby. Six, seven, eight, the nine, yes, she is. ten. Come on, baby. Labor and delivery is totally unpredictable. Push, push, push. My first day here, I remember backing up against a wall and thinking, what have I done to myself? If you keep pushing, I'm gonna keep pushing the shoulder around. This is so not what I ever dreamed of doing. It's coming. Got it. I can feel it Just one last big push. Come on, sweetie, you got it. You're doing it. But I do love it here. I really do. Hi, beautiful. Ready or not, Riverside Methodist Hospital is always open for baby business. A new set of soon-to-be parents are moving in, and they're anxious to get the process started. Oh, we get the big room. Oh, flat panel TV? Yeah. Andrew and I got married a little over five years ago. We're very much similar people. We're both high-energy people. We're both type A personalities, so we're always doing something. It's weird to see the both of us sitting down, not doing anything. It's always doing something. We even got a high energy dog. We have a mom in room A. I'd like to have an epidural, please. <laughs> go cocktail, go cocktail, go. <laughs> At a very early age, I was told that they didn't know if I could have children. I went from one to three already. But we were always setting ourselves up that we were going to have a family, so we always had hope. And then I took a pregnancy test, um, and it was positive. And I yelled down to Andrew and. Oh, I was just super excited when I saw it. And she's like, it does say positive, right? I'm like, yeah, it says positive. We're good. When you're done with the contraction, we can move up to there. It's their first baby, and Andrew is itching to get the word out. No texting anyone, dude. <laughs> no texting anyone. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. I won't text anyone. Not till you tell me I can. Sure you don't want me to call with somebody yet? You are so anxious. I know. I know. I know. See, I know. You're so anxious. I'm excited. That's why I said no calls, because I know that you're like ready to roll on the phone calls, baby. All you're going to do is cost people to get speed tickets on the way here, because they're going to be rushing to get here. And that way, my mom can call off work before she goes in. No. And your parents can come in. No. We don't know how long this is going to take. But you know me. I can't help. I can't contain myself. You need to, Andrew. Jeez, it's killing me. It's killing me. No. It's killing me. No, it doesn't work that way. Yes, it is. It's kind of sore. I think I slept on it wrong. <sighs> oh, my back. Do you want to try um, the hands and knees position? I can so. try. Yeah, it's worth a try. In room three, Courtney and her fiance, Rich, have been in labor for 10 hours, but despite early progress, they've stalled out. Um, Rich, I'm gonna have you stand on the other side of the bed in case she loses her balance. You met through MySpace. <laughs> I was just searching through and I read her profile and she seemed really nice. And so I sent her a message saying, hey, you look nice. <laughs> I read your profile. 
if you would like to talk, send me a message back or something. Hi. <laughs> Kodak moment, wasn't uh -huh. it? <laughs> I saw in there that he had two kids from a previous marriage, and I didn't have any children of my own, but he's really involved with his kids. It was a good signal that he's a good dad. <gasps> oh, God. Nice work. Oh. It's 7 p.m. and time for a shift change. Nurse Linda is taking over. Hi. 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 How are Linda? you? I'm okay. Are you doing okay? She's had better days. Yeah. Oh. We want this baby out at 12.01. Shut up. <laughs> That's so much pressure for me. I mean, <laughs> well, uh, you, you did really good for the doggy style thing or whatever that position is called. We prefer to call it knee chest. Oh, I didn't know. Well, <laughs> was, sorry. Yeah. Knee to chest. Worked good for that half hour. <laughs> sorry. She needs it. She got pregnant then. <laughs> You're dirty. Dirty, dirty. <sighs> I need to give you a little bit of oxygen because the baby has decided that it doesn't like your new and improved blood pressure. Is that typical for that to happen? What the baby's reacting to right now is her blood pressure's been high and now her blood pressure's normal. So the baby's just having a little hard time getting adjusted to that. Okay. Yeah. Trust me. I just think it's so unfair when my patient's water's broken and she's in labor and I'm not, and I'm 38 weeks and she's 36. It pisses me off. It's a beautiful weekend. Yeah. With the birth of her first child on the horizon, <laughs> Michelle is focused on what's really important. We need to get her carpets cleaned. How? I don't know. But they need to be done, Andrew. That's filthy. How am I going to be there to do that? I don't know. Hello, hello. Yo, yo. Did I surprise you? You did surprise me, so I didn't know you were here. <laughs> oh, you did? No. Take this time right now while you're comfortable and before we have to, you know, get you going with pushing to sleep. I mean, take a little nap here, get a little power nap. <sighs> okay, so I'll see you guys back in a while. I'll probably pop back over at lunchtime if hey, nothing happens good. before then. Hey, we'll see you guys in okay, a while. Thank you. Thanks, okay. Dr. Boyles. Do you think we should call people now? No. Really? I want the I want that hour with we'll, we'll have it. us. We'll have it. And they can start coming at any time after that. No, it's just the right thing to do. Just, no, it's not. I knew you were gonna do this, baby. I just, I'm excited to tell everybody. I know, that's what I know. I just want him to be healthy. Full lungs, 10 fingers, 10 toes. 10 fingers, 10 toes, happy, healthy, smiling. I love you, honey. Love you too. Okay. In an effort to jumpstart Courtney's labor. Relax your legs, relax your legs. Nurse Linda has her start pushing. Take a deep breath, blow it out. Deep breath, come right back. Deep breath and push. Mm. Mm. Yeah. your little footsteps. Uh-oh. I hear Dr. Rudrick. I do. Dr. Dave. Oh. I would like some contractions to push. Let me put on some jammies and push a couple more times and we'll see about turning some toes in the back corner. OK. Oh. Yeah. Coming. I just paged. Yeah, I'll call you back. I didn't even look at the number. No, she's like, Mom? She's like, that's gross. <laughs> it's a mellow evening at Riverside Methodist. For the nurses, downtime is a blessing. You guys need any assistance with your patients? For Andrew, Downtime is a challenge. So, you're five centimeters. Do you think we should call people now? No. Just, I'm excited to tell everybody. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Down the hall, Courtney and Rich are busy pushing. Okay, take a deep breath and push. Come on, push really hard. Push, 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 push. Oh, you can do it. Come on. <sighs> Next door in room two, Rochelle and her partner, Corrine, are expecting twins. Yay. We've been together for about a year and a half now. 
Our relationship is new based on calendar time, but it seems like it always should have been. Everything is perfect. Do you know boy or girl? One boy and one girl. Getting pregnant wasn't easy. Combining both at-home insemination kits and treatments at a fertility doctor. <laughs> so did you do in vitro or insemination? Insemination. Do you do it in the office? We we'll try it at home. To do it at home, do they like give you the equipment? Yeah, they send a huge tank. A tank. <laughs> it was like a. I don't know. It really did look like a rocket ship. Yeah, like you'd unscrew it and it'd be like. Pssst. Yeah, and I have the dry <laughs> eyes. <laughs> So did you guys get to pick the donors? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what you based it on? Um, someone we would date. <laughs> now that confuses me. <laughs> Without actually seeing them. <laughs> someone you would date Minus on Minus the male right. genitalia. <laughs> the fact that there's twins, that's surprising. Do they think the eggs split, or do they think it was? No, there was there were multiple eggs. When we went into the office, there were multiple eggs. How that they close were, were the um, inseminations that you did? 24 yeah. hours apart. Twice within 24. We somehow had an extra shipment. That was the shipment that we used at home. And then the other shipment, the following day, was waiting at the uh, specialist for us. So that's how we ended up with two different donors. <laughs> So this could be two different fathers. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> we have a bet on which donor took. Because one donor is white and one donor is black. So we kind of don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was telling us how her little girl went into the boys' restroom at daycare and pooped on the urinal. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She was cracking up. Her husband called her when she was here one night and told her that. 15 hours and still no sign of progress. So Dr. Dave comes in to kickstart the contractions. You having a good time yet? No. Uh, She's a little frustrated. I'm done. <sighs> so we're just gonna touch you with a little bit of Pitocin, see if we can get your contractions to be a little bit stronger, a little bit closer together. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go out and do some paperwork. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm right out front. Push this baby out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ow, my pinky! Past the nurse's station, Michelle's labor has not progressed, and Andrew's patience is beginning to unravel. You were like three to like seven, like quick, and now you're just like chilling. I'm chilling. Hungry? No. Starving! <laughs> I wonder if we can get like another water or something to drink. I'm thirsty. You? I think you're bored. Ooh, burger sounds good. Mm. Pizza sounds good. Burger sounds. Sushi. <gasps> 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 mm. Nope, you can't sushi eat sushi though. if you're nursing. I love sushi. Pop that zit on the side of my nose. Really? What? All right, then I'm gonna go get something to eat. I wish I had more of a butt, but I don't. Courtney is in her 17th hour of labor. She's been pushing for two hours, but she's showing little signs of progress. Okay, here we go. Okay. We're gonna do oh. big ones, okay? okay come on. Oh, can really God. Right now. Can. Come on, Court, right now, push. And push. push. Come on, oh. push, push, push. As much as you can, Court. There down, honey. Four, five, big, big push, six, don't let it out. Seven, eight, eight, right there, right there. Harder, harder, harder. Push, push, push. Oh, Good grief, Emma Riley. Geez, she is bullheaded. Okay, the baby, she has made huge progress, I think. Huge progress. It just seems to go back up. How long has she pushed now? Two hours. Those are subtle clues of a baby that may not fit well. Right. Worst of all worst is a bad shoulder dystocia. The absolutely the most terrifying thing, I think, in OB. One of the big things we worry about is the head coming out 
and the shoulder's getting stuck. It's a situation that's called a shoulder dystocia. We are if, going if, to do it. If she can do it from below, great. I know, if not. Do it the other way. Shoulder dystocias are very, very difficult. You can injure the baby's nerve and have an arm that is permanently paralyzed. At worst, you can have a baby that doesn't deliver at all and the baby dies. It's one of the most frightening things that happens with vaginal delivery because it's a true obstetrical emergency. Good. Oh. Good job, honey. Oh, God, you Good guys. job. I know, hon. Oh. I know, baby. I know, honey. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh. My. We're just going to keep pushing. Oh. We just did. We just You're did. Right. It's not working. What she would do it when she'd push, the baby would come down, but it would go right back up. That's called turtling, and that could mean shoulders. Robin, uh, I think I need All Dr. Right, Rudrick to come in. All right. Okay, bye. We're doing. Dr. Dave is coming. Okay, she's coming. He's coming. <sighs> now, when the head comes out, yeah. Listen up, because I'll either have you keep on pushing, or I may have you back off, depending upon how the shoulders are coming out. Okay. What you're gonna do, you're gonna push really, really hard because he's here. Oh, you come on. I know. Come on, push right through it, Courtney. Come on, okay, right come now. On. Big breath. Come on, oh, come on, show him. Oh, nope. Okay. Oh. okay, big breath in right now. Big breath in. Chin to chest. Right now, Courtney. Right now, push. Chin to chest. Push, push, push. I can't do it. stuck on her pelvic bone, a condition known as shoulder dystocia, which can be fatal for the baby. Right now, big push, right now, big push. Come on, big push, right now, come on, push, Courtney, push. You gotta get her out, push, push, push. Courtney, Nick, you now, we have a shoulder. Push, come on, push, push, honey. Push, 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 come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, Hunter. Come on, push, 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 push. Ah. Oh, God. 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 Oh, God.
<laughs> she's doing alright. Okay, she's doing alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yep, that's what they do. She's doing okay. <laughs> that was the shoulder stitch. That's where the head came out. And so we had to do a little corkscrew maneuver to get the baby out. And you did great. You did great. Okay? Scary. Oh, yeah. Okay? Happy birthday, Emma. Hi, Emma Riley. Ken, I've been kissing your mommy's belly for a long time. Yeah. Court, she's beautiful. Oh, oh little 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 she's like a little floppy. Little floppy. Little floppy. Oh, Hi, pumpkin. Hi, pumpkin. <laughs> That's what we want. She's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> These are my people. <laughs> now you've earned it. Today, you <laughs> did. Okay. Oh, did it. You did. Okay. I will be. Oh, we did it. Oh, now that is what I'm talking about. And congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. After surviving a terrifying delivery, a little mommy time is just what the doctor ordered. Hey, how are you? While Andrew is on a food run, Michelle fills the silence by phoning a friend. I'm in labor, girly. I know, it's so exciting. I'm like up to seven. Down in room two, Corrine and Rochelle aren't the only ones anxious for their twins to arrive. I'm gonna lower you back, okay? Okay, Jen, I'm in my room. Hey, Chrissy, uh, there's a visitor for her. Can I send her back? Um, who is it? Her mom. Yeah, is she, can she come back now? You, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks. They're giggling. <laughs> she said um, she was gonna wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to grandma. Now, there you <laughs> so cute. She's so Couldn't excited. Couldn't wait to get off work. Using me as an excuse. <laughs> that is so oh, funny. I bet she's so darn excited. Yeah. I honestly feel like one would not have been enough. Right. Like, really, with family and all the people that are going to want to love on these babies. Yeah, there wouldn't have been I don't even know if two's going to be enough. True. Hi, Grandma. Oh my gosh, she looks just like you. <laughs> I thought you were waiting because we didn't need you right away. Oh, well, you didn't mind officer. Just go. Just go. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I'm only becoming a grandma today. Can't get over the belly. Like each of the babies have the little tummies, just, <laughs> just kind of bellies going over this. <laughs> She's leaning. <laughs> a little outside the baby. After a quick trip to pick up some food, Andrew returns with all the snacks he'll need to make it through the day. Well, I was one centimeter dilated yesterday morning when the construction started. Yeah, I'm like textbook. It's like, I'm not scared. I just didn't expect for him to come this early. You guys have the best mac and cheese here. <laughs> it's good. Bye-bye. I uh, yeah. went downstairs, stopped by the chapel. You did? Mm hmm Did you say a little prayer? Mm hmm The baby's healthy? Mm hmm You're gonna be a great dad. Say a little prayer for you and the baby. And then Thanks. went to the thing, got this. Mac and cheese and sun chips. So what are you most nervous about in having a baby? Health. Health. Hello? Health, I guess. I just pray for, you know, a healthy, healthy baby, free of 
you know, physical and mental disabilities, you know? Mm hmm I like that really good mac and cheese, like, you know, my mom's make. Well. I worry about daycare. Yeah. No. I love this water. Coolest of tunes. We'll play cards. You want to turn the TV on? I just want to sleep. Want some more ice chips? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. ADD is going nuts. Yeah. In room two, Rochelle and Corrine are having a little fun while they wait and decide to let Grandma in on their secret. So what are you guys thinking? What do you think is in there? What's the question? <laughs> well, she thinks one of each, I think. One particular. What? Oh, I guess we have to tell you. <laughs> well, you have... No, you don't. <laughs> no. We have two different donors that we use, so we don't know who the baby's dad is. <laughs> Get this <laughs> <laughs> so ain't no telling what you got, huh? No telling. One, one's black, one's white. We don't know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, how many did you have, huh? <laughs> Just two. Just two. <laughs> you need a chair, Grandma? <laughs> no, nah, nah, I don't put nothing past these two. <laughs> ain't nothing past these two. Mm -mm. <laughs> She knows if it could be done, my daughter would try it. <laughs> we'll love them no matter what. Okay. <laughs> Excited? <laughs> That'll be <Yeah>. fine. <laughs> I have never, and I don't think I ever will, meet a couple like them. It was a very unique situation, but you could just tell they were going to be the best parents. They had a great support system. Those babies are lucky babies. Okay, so what's the bet here? You think one of each? She thinks one of each, and I think that they're the white guy, because we used him first. I think he took. <laughs> Should be interesting. Coming up, Rachel looks forward to a much-deserved vacation. I'm trying to talk myself into not stopping in Erie, Pennsylvania when I go to New York tomorrow. What's in Erie? A casino. <laughs> I love to gamble. <laughs> it's been a few hours since Courtney and Rich experienced the terrifying delivery of baby Emma. She's nice and warm. She's going to keep you nice and warm. Oh, my troublemaker. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> she has a clean bill of health, and the new parents can now relax and enjoy their daughter. As for Andrew and Michelle, they are far from relaxed. Honey. What? Why is his heart rate like that? Yeah, I don't know. Honey, get the thing. Get the thing. Where's the thing? I don't like the baby's heart rate. I don't like it. They're watching it. I think she's a 19. It's Laura. I have a question. Uh-huh. What happens if the baby's heart rate goes really down? There it goes. Is he still okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. No, he's not getting down to 60. Okay. I mean, every once in a while it's going down, but that's okay. As long as it goes down and comes right back up, okay. I don't care about it. Okay. Okay? Okay, I feel better now. I can, I'm watching it out there. I just worry about the little guy. <laughs> I wouldn't let anything happen to him. I'm anxious, I think. Andrew and Michelle have outlasted the first nurse shift. Who is it? It's Carmi. Hey, Carmi. And the reality of a long labor is sinking in. Okay. Thank you. Thanks so Good much, guys. Saturday. So you're here for 12 hours in? 
Yeah, I came in at 11 a.m., so I'm here till 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, yeah, so. Hopefully he's here by we then. We better have him delivered by then. Trying to keep Andrew focused in the labor and delivery room was, is probably a challenge. We've been here since five. Yeah. She was three centimeters then. 24 hours. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, shnikes. Yeah. Even though he can become distracted at times, he always makes me laugh, and there's no doubt that he's the best person for me to have by my side. My ADD is going nuts. <laughs> Let's have the kid. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Empty your bladder and check you. I know, honey, but it's it's his time, OK? He's going to come in his time. <laughs> Andrew's excited. I know. In room two, Rochelle and Corrine are savoring their last moments of pregnancy before the mystery is revealed. Which donor is the daddy? I gotta get a last shot of the belly. Yeah, because it'll be gone soon. Woohoo! I take a good one. <laughs> is that how you wanted us to do the yes. picture before? <laughs> Let's go, guys. All it's right. baby time. <sighs> All right. Okay, I'm going which way? Grandma, you are going to go through those doors to the waiting room. The waiting room is down the hall on the right. Hello. All right. Mm. See ya. See ya. Oh, bye. Mm. bye, Grandma. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Feel left out. <laughs> now, Kareen, you're going to go down the hall here. Okay. Go ahead and put your thing in the locker. Bring the key with you and then have a seat out here on the bench. Okay. All right, do you want to give her a smooch? Oh. I'm taking her Hi, in. Baby. <laughs> See you in a minute. We are going to have two more additions to our family, and that's exciting. All right. We have a seat right here. Okay. All this time spending with them, knowing them, but you know, never really getting a chance to meet them. I think I'll Mostly just be excited to be able to hold them for the first time and see their faces and all that good stuff. We are ready for birthday. Baby time! Hi! Cheese! Incision 39. It's time to settle the bet for Rochelle and Corrine. Who is the father? Or is it fathers? I have a funny feeling when this water breaks, it's going to be a little messy. You might feel a little pressure here. Are you excited? Yeah. OK, you can get your camera ready. OK. We're getting close. Yep. There's a lot of baby in there. <laughs> oh, we had a girly. Oh, hi, sweet. Oh, look at you. You're, you're, you look at the job you did. Hi, Mom. Oh, yes, please. Be back and out. Oh, hi, buddy. Happy birthday. All right. Oh, look at him. Oh, geez, look how big he is. He is huge. Okay, buddy. There you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, well, big boy. Uh, oh, She's looking vanilla. Thank she? you. Yes, she is. She is. That's what her little finger about is chilling. Yep. I'll be back. Yep. I think he's black because oh, of the scrotum. Yeah. He's yeah. got dark scrotum. Yep. <laughs> I won. Want to be? Oh. That means I won the bet. <laughs> Be a little explanation. <laughs> right. Later on. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't worry about it. <laughs> Did you want to see that I want? So good. With their bet decided, Rochelle and Corrine bask in the glow of their little miracles. Look at how warm she is. <laughs> you got 
got them. Becoming an outlet for his energy. Monitoring Michelle's contractions. See, just three in a row. Yeah. You think it might be the time? Maybe. It's in the 60s. I feel it. It just feels so much stronger. Maybe. That, that's the first time you've had three in a row. It just feels a lot stronger down there. Yeah, you might be coming there. Here she comes. OK. I feel a lot more pressure. See, oh, good. Did you see three in a row? I did. All right. It can be baby making time. We already made a baby. We already made a baby. Baby delivery yeah. time. Baby <laughs> he did that time. 10 months ago. <laughs> yeah, we're ready to push. He is right here. Yeah, so let's I can get feel him. Go. What I love about Andrew is, and I know that he would step up to the plate and be the best birthing coach that I could possibly have. Ready, set, go. One, two, get mad, get three, mad. Come on. four, push, 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 five, push, 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 push. Six, Push seven, that pressure out. Come on, eight, you can do good. it. Breathe. Blow it away. Big Set. breath in. Do it One, again. Come on, push. Two, push, three. push, 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 push. Oh, I want to see some here. <laughs> six, seven, good eight, job. nine, ten. Relax. Good. Yeah, really make sure you blow your breath away. Really okay. Feel well. Okay. I'm sit up. Go ahead and sit up. You'll probably feel better if you throw up. <laughs> Slow two breaths in between. Just let it all out. All right. Sorry. No, don't no, be sorry. No, don't be sorry, Elle. Sorry. You're going to feel better after all this gets <laughs> out. Good thing is, throwing up's pretty effective pushing sometimes. <laughs> Good job, sweetheart. Poor thing. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, there yeah. we go. Going up. All right. Ready? Okay. Go. Up that beat. One. You can do it. Two. Go. Three. That's it. Come four, on. Come on. Five. Uh, six. Seven. He's coming. Eight. <laughs> Ready? Can go. Do it again. One. Hard, 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 hard. Two. Stay with it. Three. Stay with it. Stay with Four. it. There you go. That's the one. Six. Good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. We look at that here. Hi, Plonkin. I think his shoulders are fine. He's mm -hmm. loosened. Right. Remember, I told you one of these times you'd push and the head would stay out? Yeah. This it was did. it. Okay, baby. Little push. One. Little push. Little push. There you go. Uh, look down uh, here between your legs. Uh, oh, the penis. Be nice, Plonkin. Oh, you do look like your daddy. Yeah, get you all sectioned out all here. All right, yes. Is he OK? Yeah, he's good. 10 fingers, 10 toes. 10 fingers, ten, 10 toes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he's got everything. He's even got testicles. Yes, <laughs> you are so cute. I think you look like your dad. I told you. There he is. Let's turn him towards Daddy. Good girl. Oh, it's okay, awesome, baby. Awesome there he is. Good, girl. Good, girl. Good, girl. Good job. Good guy. It is emotional. I mean, there's this all of a sudden it's just you go from being just the two of us to an instant. Now we're a family. Bye. So much we can You okay, buddy? Open those eyes. What's up, buddy? They're gonna let us take this thing home. Courtney and Rich are relieved to announce the birth of their daughter, Emma. Michelle and Andrew are excited to introduce their son, Anderson. What's up, buddy? Corrine and Rochelle are thrilled to welcome their little miracles, Landon and Reese. The nurses of labor and delivery expect the unexpected. The births can be insanely stressful, out of the ordinary, or happy and calm. As long as the babies are healthy, the job never gets old. Delivery, delivery, delivery. 